Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. Today's video is going to be showcasing the best border games that you should be playing. Border games are games where players must navigate through a border often controlled by members of a group in order to access the city behind it. Players generally have the choice to pay for access to the city via a passport or sneak into the city. Players can do whatever they want once they get in the city, but some developers put more focus in the border than the actual city behind it. Here's my list of the top 10 Roblox border games, but before we get to the list, make sure that you like and subscribe to the channel. Also, don't forget to turn on the bell for the latest notifications and updates, and make sure you never miss another video. Number 1, The Grand Crossing. This is a border roleplay game. It's owned by a popular blog super clan called Nighthawk Imperium. They do really occupy this place in their army. The sci-fi game will have you work as a miner garbage or a scrap collector, or if you're brave enough, you can rob the vault hidden somewhere in the map. The game covers cosmetics, tons of tools and weapons that you could spend your credits on. There are also loot boxes and things you can spend your credits on, and there's also more than the game passes and tons of available guns. Number 2, Russian Inspector. This game is inspired by the popular game Paper Please. Russian simulator Paper Please is a border roleplay game. Some of the things you can do with this game is that you can join the Russian government. You should be a criminal or an immigrant. You can also fight the resistance. This game includes a futuristic city with lots of establishments. There are guns and lots of violence and stuff to do on the border. Number 3, Day of Dust The Border. Another border game owned by Roblox Clan with 40k plus members called Ages International. This game is pretty much a dystopian style, but not like it was apocalypse type. The outside city is probably ruined, but the last city is not totally. And it's sci-fi themed as well. The last city's objective is pretty much just to protect the last of the blast place on Earth. This game will not starve you with locations, as it's pretty huge, and you can either be a wastelander or a member of their group. Number 4, pretty much every border game ever is. Like the name suggests, it's pretty much like every border game ever. For the gameplay as a citizen, you'll bake bread and cake and join a mission and take control of the border. You're going to be a knight and will have to protect the Brit God of the Vikings as a male Viking. Make the Brit God angry. Number 5, El Paso Border Patrol Roleplay. This is a roleplay game owned by a Roblox clan called the United States Customs and Border Protection. According to them, they are the largest federal law enforcement agency of the United States, the Department of Homeland Security, and is the country's primary border control organization. And in this game, you're basically in Mexico and you're trying to cross the USA as an immigrant. You'll be able to explore the map. It's rather snowing, but good thing, there are free cars. Number 6, Check It Border. This is a new game by the huge Check It Containment Corporation. This is a top secret organization with its main base being located in Montana, USA. There are some sort of ESP group since they are housing some of the most disturbing, lethal, and dangerous creatures you could ever imagine. Once you enter the border, you can explore classic looking small towns inside. You can play as an immigrant or you can join their group, be a cadet, border patrol, and EFT. A raider, border director, or medical staff playing continuously would give you access to free items. Number 7, Rat Crossing. This roleplay game is owned by Rats United, Air All Rats. Here you play as a rat. You can rob the bank here, start infections, and so much more. The possibilities are endless at Rat Crossing. Of course, you can join the rat army and protect the borders, or be a part of the cat raiders and raid the borders, causing insurgency all over the area. Number 8, Star Wars Mandalorian Border on Keldob City. This is a game that is owned by a Roblox group called the Mandalorian Empire. The game has an open world quest system where official Mandalorian clans can capture and dominate regions of their choice. Number 9, Turkey Bulgaria Border. This border game owned by Roblox and the Republic of Turkey. The game has elements of a cyberpunk game. You can smuggle items and crates to sell them. You can export it and sell it to the local supermarket. Number 10, Border Simulator. This is a Soviet inspired game. Border Simulator is an open world roleplay game. Explore this wonderful Soviet city and try surviving under the Soviet regime. You can be anyone or be in the government post and protect your motherland. The roles include civilians and government related jobs. The things you can do here are similar to the things you can do in the above list of games. These for me are the 10 best border roleplay games you should try. These games are for sure addictive and I'm pretty sure it's going to keep you good to your screen for hours, so don't forget to check them out. Thanks for watching.